What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It's Tuesday, which means it's time for the weekly reset, so let's go over the new milestones for this week as well as all the gear that is available. Real quick, if you guys want to know why it took so long for me to make this video, I will let you guys know at the end of the video, that way I'm not holding you guys up. So, as for the milestones, we have Flashpoint on Titan, which complete public events on Titan. If you do the heroic versions, it will complete this a lot faster. Nightfall, which you need to complete the weekly Nightfall Strike. This week's Nightfall is Savathun's Song. And you need to complete it within 13 minutes and 58 seconds. The modifiers are Momentum, as well as Time Warp Anomalies. And then we have Leviathan, which you need to defy the Cabal Emperor in the, Levi the Leviathan Raid. Then we have Call to Arms, which you win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities. Then we have Celebrate with New Monarchy. So if you guys had New Monarchy as your wonderful faction for last week, then you guys actually won. So congratulations to all you guys. Nobody likes you, still. So. Um, <laughs> I personally actually went with uh, Future War Code on all my characters because I wanted that uh, Fusion Rifle. And apparently, for some ungodly reason, you guys wanted a sword, which I thought was pretty stupid. It's better swords than the... You know, new monarchy one. But anyways, and last but not least, we do have Crucible Challenges, which we need to complete three challenges in the Crucible. So, real quick, let's go to the Nightfall Strike. As I did say, we do have Momentum as well as Time Warp Anomalies. Momentum states, health and shield regeneration are disabled while still standing sprint to regenerate more quickly. Then we have Time Warp Anomalies, which strange anomalies have been detected in the area. Destroy them to release temporal energy and extend mission timer. Once again, we do have 13 minutes and 58 seconds to complete that. Now, let's go see what Tess Everest has at the Everest Trading Company at the tower. So, now that we are at the tower, let's see what Tess Everest actually has. Always good to As for our emotes, we have the Don the Hat. as well as Shoulder Dance. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. As for our speeders, we have the Noble Steed. Ships, we have Deadfall. As well as the exotic ship is the uh, Takenomi Wings. Pretty much just looks like the Deadfall to me. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth uh, the wonderful exotic price. However, we do have Book of the Dead for those wonderful Vigilance Wings. And that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Next, we do have under construction for the tracer cannon or tractor cannon. Sorry. Wonderful item of the week is uh, class items for the warlock. It is the uh, bond of optimacy. Next, we do have uh, ghost shells, which is the bold shell, as well as the twilight shell. For shaders, we do have the Omelon Meteor Gloss. And that's what that looks like. Looks pretty cool, actually. Then we have the Monochromatic. As well as the Indigo Matrix. And last but not least, we do have the Fire Team Medallion. So, before you guys leave, do not forget to visit Kate 6 and by all means, go ahead and buy his treasure maps for this week, and I'm pretty much not going to buy anything, because I really don't actually, like, go after these things anymore. It's just pointless. You have a chance to get an exotic, which, yeah, it's, that's, yeah, I don't worry about it. So, real quick, going into my computer news, apparently AMD did release driver support for NVMe RAID and I was having trouble making a bootable RAID out of that with two M.2s and 
Apparently, MSI did not update their uh, BIOS for my motherboard, and yeah, it's kind of an issue because I actually, you know, wanted to actually get this raid complete and done as fast as possible. So that is what took me so long to actually get this video up because I was still getting everything prepared in order to do it. Right now, everything is good. I am actually on a beta BIOS that MSI gave me, so thank you MSI, appreciated that. There are obviously a couple of nooks and crannies and kinks that need to be worked out in this beta BIOS, and I will be sure to let them know. And that fellow Guardians brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.